The honor and the burden sits on his broad shoulders. Canada Post Watch National Newscast, Global National, Kevin Newman. Hello and thank you for joining us. Statistics Canada reported today on what many of you know all too well. Some of the most basic food is a lot more expensive than it was a year ago. Baked goods, pasta, cereals, the things every family buys every week. Add it up with gas prices and the rising cost of housing, and Canadian families are watching their buying power shrink at a rapid rate. Here's Loren McNabb. If you think you're experiencing sticker shock at the grocery store, you should try being the guy who has to change those stickers. All these signs would have been different a year. All of them. Flour up 44% over this time last year. So prices on bread and pasta are up. A loaf by as much as 70 cents. Last year we were paying, what's 25 cents? And it, what is it now? Now it's uh, 50 cents. Fuel up 26%. So the cost of bringing in goods like produce, dairy, has risen too. Cheaper here today than I was last year? No. Nothing. Nothing. And the combination of higher food and energy prices is now fueling a real spike in inflation. Between May and June, it jumped from 2.2% to 3.1%, the biggest month-to-month -month increase in three years. The last time we had inflation this high was in the wake of Hurricane Katrina when gasoline prices spiked up. If volatile items like gas or fruits and vegetables are excluded from the equation, Canada's core inflation rate, what many banks use as a benchmark to measure trends, is still relatively tame. Still, factory in the rise in the cost of living, and the average worker is only making 1% more per hour than this time last year. This is the new reality, I guess, but I, you know, I, how, much, how much more can the prices go up? Well, there was an 8% drop in the price of a car, a 13% drop in computers. Flying jumped 14%. And your food, everything is out but pork, some meats, the odd fruit. But some shop owners say they've actually been holding back on passing on their costs to consumers. We're going to have to increase the price and we don't have a choice. But you do. Ripe vegetables are usually sold at a discount and buying local can also save cash. This personal shopper says if you're buying big items like furniture, shop around over the internet or consider buying second hand. And whatever you do, avoid impulse buys. Make a list a little on paper if you need to, or if you have, have it in your head, know what you want before you go out and get it, because sometimes you end up getting more than what you need. Of course, all this comes at a time when consumer confidence is at a 13-year low, while some experts say that recent drop in oil prices we've seen over the past couple of days could translate into the drop in prices in other goods and services. Most consumers don't have a lot of faith. They've been here before. Kevin. All right, as always, watch your pennies. Thanks very much, Loren. Here are some of the other things you may be noticing are significantly more expensive over last year. The housing boom is adding a lot of extra interest costs to the average mortgage. We're paying almost 10% more in interest than this time last year. <coughs> Pardon me, car insurance is up. And one thing that is slightly less expensive, clothing. Well, some serious privacy concerns are being raised at Canadian airports.